Okay, good morning. We're going to do a little bit of reading on El Camino Real, California history during the mission era. El Camino Real literally means Royal Road. And it's in Spanish, so it's the Spanish Royal Road. And it was the road that connected the missions, is what it is. And today is called California Geography and the Crespi Expedition. Juan Portola and Juan Crespi. Was it Juan Portola? Gabriel Col I think I'm getting his first name wrong. I'm sorry. Portola and Crespi um, were one of two pairs of explorers that went up through the native territories and established the routes that the missions would be on. And we're going to look at that right now. What you're seeing right there is some historic markers you might have seen on Route 101 in California, if driven up and down California. And those are were put up in the 1900s to 1920s, actually, um, marking the historic route of one of the routes of El Camino Real. And it's a bell because of the mission bell. But I don't know if you also noticed the shape of the thing holding the bell is called a crook. Not like a criminal crook, um, but it was a symbolism with the church about crooks were used to gather sheep. And so the bell and the crook are sort of like, you know, calling you to God and gathering the sheep of God. So it's quite a symbol. All right, we're going to get right down to the reading right away. I'm going to bring up this image here. The map of El Camino Real. Yeah, this is a screenshot of a Google map, but it's it's basically that's where El Camino Real basically went. You can do a lot of research around this and really get into a lot of details. And actually what there was is there were two El Camino Reals. There was an alternate route and a main route. Um, the one that's recognized actually kind of goes, um, as you can see, follows Route 101. Okay, good academic thing to do. You have some questions to answer. Before you do some reading, take a look at the questions ahead of time. That's the reading. Let's go to the questions. Whoa, sorry. Yeah, here we go. Take a look at the questions before you um, do the reading, just because then you're really prepared. Pause the video for a minute. Look at them. You're going to have to answer those four questions from this reading. And I will answer them, but I'm not going to write them down because you guys have been just copy and pasting from the end of the video. Okay, let's get down to the reading. I'm going to bring up the map again. Wrong one. <laughs> All right, there we go. El Camino Real. Let's see if we can fit it in the whole screen. There we go. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. This software grabs things. There we go. And me. Nah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if I can move me over here so you can see the map. Ah, yeah. Which direction? There we go. All right, so um, the reading today. California geography. So the re this is on the reading, and I'm just reading the reading straight up. El Camino Real, Spanish, literally, for the Royal Road, refers to the 600-mile road connecting the 21 missions of California. 21 of them. Formerly, they called it Alta California. And there was a number of submissions. That's kind of a word play, like submit, submission. No, no, submission, like a mission underneath the mission. Four presidios, three pueblos. So four forts, three really big farms. One of the presidios, as you know, is in San Francisco. The presidio. Okay. The complete route of the road went from San Diego area mission, San Diego de Alcala, 
at its southernmost end and went all the way up to the mission San Francisco Solano in Sonoma, just north of San Francisco Bay. That's question one. I'll repeat them at the end, but where did it start and where did it end? The route started, you can see right here in San Diego. Okay, right there. That's where it started, San Diego. And then it went all the way up past San Francisco to Sonoma, Mission San Francisco Solano. Sorry, in Sonoma. I just said a mouthful and I wasn't very clear. It went all the way to what is now Sonoma, a city, to the Mission San Francisco Solano. Mission Solano. Reading on. In Alta, California, now the United States, California, as we all know, El Camino Real followed two alternate routes. Two alternate routes. Established first by the first two Spanish exploratory expeditions of the region. So the first two explorers established the two... I can't do it. Routes. Okay. The first was the Portola Expedition of 1769. And this is the one Juan Crespi was on. It's actually Gaspar de Portola. Yes, not Juan Portola, sorry. Gaspar de Portola. The Portola Expedition is the Crespi Expedition. They were together. The expedition party included Franciscan missionaries led by Junipero Serra, but it started from... Um, Starting from Loreto, Serra established the first of the 21 missions in San Diego. Serra stayed at San Diego, and Juan Crespi continued the rest of the way with Gaspar de Portola. So they came up through Mexico. Serra, Father Junipero Serra, Juan Crespi, Gaspar de Portola together. And then Serra stayed at San Diego to go on. And they continued north. Proceeding north, Portola followed as much as possible the coastline, um, today's Route 1, except where forced inland by cliffs. Eventually, the expedition was prevented from going any further by the entrance of San Francisco Bay, the Golden Gate, where today's Presidio is, you know, the top of San Francisco. Crespi identified several future mission sites which were not developed until much later. On the return trip to San Diego, Gaspar de Bortola found a shorter detour around one stretch of the coastal cliffs via Caneo Valley. Okay, so there's a lot of detail here, but what's the answer to the question? The Crespi expedition followed the coastline. So you're going to see right here, um, this is actually, this is considered, sorry, this is considered the more inland route. This is the red is not the coastline. If you look at the actual coastline, you can see, you know, that's kind of what they followed, the, where the green meets the blue. And there's a highway that does that. Now it's called Route 1. Route 1 goes along the, the coast. So on this map, it's not shown. Question 2, where did the, the Crespi route go? Along the coastline. They went mostly, like, literally on the beaches, except where they had to go inland because of big, steep cliffs. <laughs> Portola journeyed again from San Diego to Monterey in 1770, where Junipero Serra, who traveled by ship, founded the second mission, later moved a short distance south to Carmel. Carmel became Serra's Alta California mission headquarters. So he moved up to Miss Monterey Bay, which is kind of right there. That's Monterey Bay at the end of my finger, that little inlet. And along the coast there would be the city of Carmel. Clint Eastwood, the actor, was mayor of Carmel a number of years ago. Weird fact. Okay. The second expedition now. <laughs> um. The Juan Batista de Anza expedition. Entering Cali Alta California from the southeast, picked up Portola's trail at, you know, the San Diego mission, Mission San Gabriel, which is actually just above the mission San Diego. De Anza scouts found it easier traveling several inland valleys rather than staying on the rugged coast. 
So the, the second expedition follows that red line that you see there. Do you see how it kind of goes inland more here and there? Um, De Anza scouts... Uh, blah, blah, blah. On his journey north, De Anza traveled the San Fernando Valley and the Salinas Valley, where most of the farming in California goes on these days. Like, literally, all the tomatoes in the United States are grown in the San Fernando Valley, and I'm not kidding you. And, like, so much of the United States lettuce is grown in the Salinas Valley. I am I'm not joking. After detouring the coast to visit the Presidio of Monterey, De Anza went inland again, following the Santa Clara Valley to the southern, e southern end of San Francisco Bay and up on the east side of the San Francisco Peninsula. This became the preferred route and more closely corresponds to the officially recognized El Camino Real. So this red line follows what you see as the Juan Batista expedition. So, that's the second question. We'll go over that in the third question. Excuse me. Last one. To facilitate overland travel, mission settlements were approximately 30 miles, 48 kilometers, apart, so that they were separated by one long day's ride horseback along the El Camino Real. So they made the missions on purpose, 30 miles apart, so that one could ride. They were a day's ride between each one so they could help each other, get messages to each other, be evenly spaced out about dominating all the natives and stuff, I guess. Okay, answering the questions now again. Question number one, where did El Camino Real of Alta start and where did it end? It started at San Diego and it ended at... Mission Solano in Sonoma. You can see it on the map. It's above San Francisco. You don't see the word Solano, but it's up there. That's, that's where it ends. So pause the video if you need to and write down that answer. It started at San Diego and it ended in Sonoma at Mission Solano. Question two. In Alta California, El Camino Real found the two basic routes. The first two Spanish exploratory expeditions went. What route did the first expedition, the Portola Crespi expedition, go? The first expedition closely followed the coastline. That is the question, answer to question number two. The Crespi expedition closely followed the coastline. You can see it on this map here. There isn't a line of where he went, but you can see the coastline. And you can bring up a California map and look up... Route one, if you need. Question three. Where did the second route, the Bautista expedition, go? The Bautista expedition started in San Diego, but pushed inland and found valleys and easier routes. Again, what route did the second expedition go? Where did they go? What did they do? What route did the sex second expedition go? That doesn't make sense. Um, they found more inland routes, and they went up the s peninsula of San Francisco towards the end there. Why were the... Question four. Why were the 21 missions spaced 30 miles apart each? So that they were a day's horseback ride away from each other. That's why. So... You'll have to pause the video and get the answers to these questions again. A little known tasty fact that I've explored with you before that's not in the questions. I'm going to go quickly. So today we've learned that El Camino Real wasn't just one route. It was a couple of routes. It was along the coastline. It went inland. But there were also other sub-smaller routes. And one of them would become San Pablo Avenue. Now, Contra Costa County... Why do you think they call it Contra Costa? Contra Costa. It literally means the other coast. So when there was a mission in San Rafael, and when there was a mission in San Jose and San Francisco, a more direct route on the other side of the bay, the other coast, Contra Costa, was also established from um, Native American trails and deer trails. And um, they called it El Camino Real Contra Costa. It would become San Pablo Avenue. 
That's not in the questions. I'm just sharing tasty facts. Okay, this is now 15 minutes long. Good times. Pause the video to answer the questions.